Hey everyone and good morning. It's a really good morning because we're in one of my favorite towns in the United States, Key West, Florida. We're here on the Celebrity Silhouette cruise ship. Um, we're in port until about 4.30, it's currently about 10 a.m. So we are gonna hit the town and explore. Probably mostly the bars and the breweries and the distilleries, but explore indeed. I love this town, I'm excited to go check things out. We did dock in the, uh, what I consider the better cruise port here in Key West right by Mallory Square. And I always know I'm on Key West on a cruise ship when I see this weird elephant man Mario kind of thing. He's amazing. Some really neat trees over here. Weird, this one's a great looking tree. I think it might be a banyan tree. I think so. But it's got a big giant light on it. One of the more notable sites in Key West, Harry Truman's little white house is over here. I'm more, more interested in what's across the street. Unfortunately, not open right now. Uh, the First Flight Brewery, uh, fun, uh, out of the microbreweries in town. This one's my favorite. They also uh, do a really good happy hour. Oh, with the food is so good. Yeah. Something I really enjoy about Key West is seeing the native wildlife. Tons and tons of chickens. I like this guy here, who's, I guess, uh, getting a drink of water from this pipe. Another one of the famous sites here in Key West, the end of US-1, a highway that starts all the way up in Maine and ends here at Mile Zero and the accompanying Mile Zero gift shops. Another really, really cool tree. Check this one out. It looks fake. I think our first adult beverage establishment is going to be the Green Parrot Bar. Opened all the way back in 1890 and uh, Malai, it's one of your favorite bars in town. It is! And this bar, it's just cool. Old timey, lots of crazy stuff on the walls. ET, uh, we're drinking a beer made just for them. Beer ran about $7, very tasty, easy to drink. The bars in Key West, they've got a gift shop. Really cool gift shop. They've got a lot of uh, custom signs. I think we're gonna buy that one there. We have a bunch of like Key West bar signs in our house. Yeah, but we don't have one from here. I bet that fish guy's in the bar. And I guess they sell that too, that's pretty neat. Then I love this, we're drinking that custom beer and you could buy the tap handle for it. They're 70 bucks, but that, that's a really neat souvenir. What a terrifying sign. The thing we thought about doing in Key West was going on one of the tours, um, either the Old Town Trolley Tour or the Contrain Tour. Turns out they are really expensive. Like if we wanted to go on this trolley tour today, it was $60 a person. The conch train, $50 a person. So we decided just to wander around instead. Um, passing by this, the Ram's Head Southernmost, they've got a great Bloody Mary bar. I've been here in the past, and also, man, love this sign. With the waterfall kind of thing behind it. You know, I take it somebody probably had a rough night. Someone had a very rough night. We are one week away from St. Patrick's Day, and this house is definitely in the spirit. Uh, Molly, I'm very excited because next week we're doing something I've wanted to do for years, and that is St. Patrick's Day in Savannah, Georgia. A giant, giant party. It's gonna be interesting. One of the most famous spots in Key West, the Hemingway House. I go on a tour for $18. <laughs> That's a fun bike horn. Um, I wanted to try and find the cats. They have six pawed cats that live here, but I'm not seeing any cats. Right near the Hemingway House is also the Key West Lighthouse. $7 to go up there. Here's the most famous spot in Key West, the southernmost point. <laughs> the company waves and very, very, very long line to get your picture. Right, the southernmost point is the southernmost point bar in the continental United States, complete with its own buoy. Well, down this way, might as well get a shot of the ocean. Uh, Key West, great town, not great beaches. But some wonderful, wonderful views. Huh, oh look at that. Key West has its own Epcot. One of the main attractions here is the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. I believe it's another one that costs around $20 or so to get into. I love the Easter decorations out front. Yeah, that's great. And uh, it's more than just butterflies in there. They do have flamingos. One thing about Key West, a lot of the, the bars open early. Even the VIP Gentlemen's Club is open at, at 11.30 in the morning. Look at this sign for this French bakery with a little dog in a hat. 
I made it to one of my favorite bars in Key West. At the Speakeasy Inn, there is the rum bar. I think they have something like 300 different rums and really great drinks. This is one of my favorites in town. I love this bar. I got the banana split. Uh, we've got banana rum cream, a couple of different rums there. Uh, Molly, you got a toasted coconut bar. Mm -hmm. Drinks are fantastic. They've got 400 rums. Check out what they sell at this gift shop. The very appropriate Key West souvenirs. There's a dog riding a moped. And uh, something fun. Boom and boom, boom. But I love this sign, like the old timey sign for the Orchard Key Inn. I, I am not a smoker, but I do love these cartoony cigars out in front of the Island Cigar Factory. One of the things I like about Key West is they have really cool art galleries with stuff you can buy from like weird modern art to other stuff. Some of them you can't take photos in, so we didn't really cover too much of it. Wyland's of, you know, one of the bigger ones, but uh, really cool. Head back to some bars. There's the Bull, the Whistle, and the Garden of Eden. Two levels of bars, and then the rooftop is a clothing optional bar. burger and I love this St. Patrick's Day next week. Doors open 8 a.m. Why not? Let's stop real quick into Sloppy Joe's. Uh, really just to pick up some merchandise. If you don't follow us on social media we did run a contest for this cruise. Uh, whoever guessed the the right amount of drinks we had in the martini bar is gonna win one of these sweet towels. So definitely follow uh, us here at In The Loop on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for contests like that. It, they're mostly shenanigans whenever we do contests. Molly, I don't think we're going to stop, but this is an adorable bar. It is. It's located right across from Old City Hall. And it's called Shots and Giggles. That's a great name. In the tourism area of Key West, there are two distilleries. They're both pretty close to each other. The first one is the Hemingway Rum Company Distillery. I've which, never been here. Yeah, this makes the Papa's Pilar Rum, which is really good, especially the blonde. Yeah. Recommend stopping in here. They do a... Uh, you get to sample two rums for free. If you want the fancy rum, you could get a two ounce pour for $14. And they have really, 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 really nice merchandise. Uh, the blonde rum, absolutely wonderful. But uh, that sherry cask one, also really good. Within a stone's throw of the Hemingway distillery is the Key West first illegal rum distillery. And they've got uh, another tasting you could do. It's pretty much like a Gallenberg experience in here, where you get to try pretty much as many as you want. I think we tried six. The Duval Street Spice was our favorite, and they were really, really good. We made it to the Harbor Walk area of Key West to go to the Waterfront Brewery. I believe it's that building over there. It is a very pretty area of town. Do you know what's better than seeing chickens? A family of baby chickens. There's so many over here. And there's a couple more hiding under that bush over there. Look at how many of them there are. Oh, they're so adorable. Little balls of poop. Right on the water is the Pont Seafood Company. And look at the fish tank they have. And it's right next to a bar. It serves Old Smokey. And in the lagoon here, they do have a lot of fish. We saw some really big tarpon earlier. Here you can see some long needlefish. Pretty neat art installation in front of what I'm guessing is probably a hotel. Some of those giant fish and a couple of pelicans hanging out. Wow, look at how many giant fish. Stripe. Yeah. And we made it to our destination. Really cool coming over to this waterfront area and uh, seeing all the giant fish and I've all the other wildlife. Well, uh, the biggest establishment is the Waterfront Brewery. The Waterfront Brewery is a giant, giant place. This is massive. Yeah, um, you do have the water right there where you can see the very bright lights. But their flight, I think, is one of the best deals in Key West. You get to sample their four main beers for $8. 
Also, their coasters for the Lazy Way IPA have a very peaceful sloth on them. Oh, someone loves crane machines. You can win a beer, Molly. And this one, you can win a beer. So you can try his luck. No, no, I didn't win a beer. You did not. You flipped it over, though. I really like the keg lights that they have in the bar area. Also with the large arcade. Uh, really interesting stuff in here. Lots of fun. I won a Christmas penguin. After trying three times. That's not bad, three, three dollars for a Christmas penguin. Things I love about Key West is just wandering the streets and here are the roosters. Yeah. But like, look at this. Now it's a, now a small hotel, which is a beautiful, beautiful building. Um, it was painted different colors, could be a haunted mansion. Right next to the bull and the whistle is right up there with the rum bar as one of my favorites in Key West. And that is General Horseplay, the craft cocktail bar, which has one of the most fun happy hours I've ever seen. And we have one hour and 16 minutes we got to be back on the ship, so I feel like we can get a drink here and then, then it's go time. General Horseplay, it is the craft cocktail bar. Home to my favorite happy hour ever, as you see. You roll the dice, and you roll a one, one dollar drink, roll a two, two dollar drink, three half price drink, four, five, six, those are the ones you don't want. Regular price. All right, Molly's got her drink, which looks fantastic. Let's see what we got. I tease. Oh, no! That's a win. Let's see what I'll get. Three? Half I'll off. take a three. Half I'll take that. I got my favorite drink in here, the spice banana daiquiri. I love it. Molly, what'd you get? I got the bitter mix. Then what is in that? Uh, that's a good question. All right, but also the decor in here is really cool. Like, you look at the walls, there's the bumble. Rappin' Rodney's album. A jackalope. And then back to Molly's drink. It is Irish whiskey, blueberry, lemon, and black tea. Over.